Uh, what up, what up, everybody? Man, it's your boy Mike Guns in the building back with another video. Today, we focused on chest and a lot of lat work, okay? Um, quick little video just to bring you through. As you guys can see, crazy fucking pump. Um, give this workout a try, all right? Uh, we started off to see the fly machine uh, just to you know warm up get some blood into the pecs get a nice deep stretch before we get into the um the heavier movements all right uh we did like one warm-up set just get a deep stretch lightweight and then uh you know progressive overload throughout the, the entirety of the exercise um you know uh at, after every set up the weight very simple concept okay um so yeah we warmed up with the see the fly machine and after that we went directly into some dumbbell work okay for the incline i usually do the uh barbell incline press but instead today we focused on um you know getting a real deep stretch controlling the weight so i went with the dumbbells all right um nice incline dumbbell press again um throughout every set we up the weight you know we started with 60s then went to 80s uh something like that 60s or uh, uh, 70s something like that and then we just keep climbing top set we, we, we took the 100 pound dumbbells for a ride right um i believe i got five five of them for that i could have probably pushed for one or two more but um Again, no spot. You don't want to. You don't want to uh, drop that shit on your face. Okay, so as you guys see, uh, 100 pound dumbbells. We took those for a ride. I was uh, I was pleased with my strength today. Right. Um, you know, I haven't been going heavy, so I'm trying to uh, take longer rest periods right now in my training and really focus on the squeeze, the contraction. And, and again trying to recover as much as possible before i hit my next set all right so the the rest periods have been going up a little bit longer than i usually do all right um then we went to the decline all right uh decline barbell press my upper chest gets crazy i get a big upper chest quick my lower chest is actually what doesn't grow on me and it's crazy because you know, for the majority of people, it's vice versa. You know, the majority of people struggle to get the upper chest while they have a nice lower chest. I'm the opposite. For some reason, I think I need to work on my lower chest a lot more. All right, so we're starting to implement that. As you guys see on the um, on the movement, I'm going nice slowly down, deep stretch, giving it a pause at the bottom of the movement, and then, you know, powering up, okay? Just getting that nice contraction on that lower pec. Um, again, slowly up in the weight. I did three to four, uh, three to four sets per exercise, as you guys can see in the video. Um, straight demolished my chest with this uh, routine. Okay, uh, not fancy, just something for you guys to give it a try on the next chest day if you guys hitting the free weights. Okay, um, I did implement some calisthenic movement at the end of my chest workout, so stay tuned for that. It should be coming up shortly. Um, on my last set on the decline, I did a drop set as, you, as you're watching right now, right? So, uh, you know, got as much reps as I can with my top set, weight, lowered it, and went back down, okay? Uh, as you guys will see. Uh, again, just getting a uh, different type of uh, different type of fatigue, okay? Um, to the chest, all right? So, quick, nice drop sets, implement those. Um, you know, get, get as much reps as you can with your top set weight, drop some weight, keep going as much as you can, drop some weight, keep going as much as you can, you know what I'm saying, to you max out, it's basically like maxing out every single, every single time, so uh, good, good way to, uh, you know, to push that failure, all right, so um, after this, I believe we did some dip work, and that was the end of the chest workout, all right, um, a lot of pressure movements uh again we warmed up with the flies we hit uh, the max on the dumbbells with the 100 pounds 
just a quick little recap. Um, feeling good. I won't lie. It's, I've been slacking as usual, but you know what I'm saying? For today, I'm very uh, uh, impressed on where my strength was at and just uh, where my endurance was at, right? I really needed this session. Um, yeah, man, I went and got it in, man, pushed it in. Uh, to finish the chest workout, man, we did 10 down on the dips. And honestly, I woke up feeling sore as fuck. And it's probably for the because of this right here just the simple 10 down on the dips after all of that right to finish off this chest workout um 10 down we try to this is a real time right here on the dips with the 10 down this is after i i exhausted my chest already all right so um it makes it a lot more difficult you could also maybe implement this in the beginning of the workout you know so maybe instead of doing the flies do do a quick little 10 down get a nice deep stretch onto your, onto your pecs and uh, get a nice little warm-up and then get into your workout all right um so yeah you could either use this as you know your excuse me oh shit excuse me so yeah man you could either use this at the end of the workout like i said at the beginning to pre-exhaust your chest at the beginning of the workout or straight demolish and get that deep stretch after the workout, all right? Um, you know, you put a lot of blood into the into the pecs during the workout. So right here, you want to give it a nice deep stretch, get that fullness, and that's going to finish off the chest workout, all right? Um, um, next we have up is back. So stay tuned for that. And I'll walk you guys through uh, what I did for, for the back routine. On the back routine, we did focus on mostly lat work, okay? Lower lats, etc. All right, um, really just focusing on the contraction, getting that deep stretch, getting that mind and muscle connection. You know, um, as you guys will see, my back is very wide, but I lack detail. That could be because of the body fat, it could be uh, just because, again, um, you know, the back is a big muscle group. And I've been bullshitting in the gym for the last two years. Let's keep it real, all right? So, um, so yeah, my back is, is lacking. It's not lacking so much the width and the thickness. It's just lacking, it's lacking detail, okay? So, we're going to really be trying to shred up some more. Um, your boy is weighing roughly 187 pounds to 85 right now. So, we have lost weight since the last... Oh, yeah. Ugh, excuse me again, man. So we have lost weight since the last um, video. All right, the last video was about almost two weeks ago, if I'm not mistaken, like 13 days ago, okay? And uh, so, yeah, man, we have lost some weight since then. Um, but as you guys see, man, um, in the beginning of this video, I'm still holding a lot of fullness. Um, I got some definition coming in. You know, I got some veins coming in the shoulders and the traps. My bicep. I've never been a really vascular dude. Um, you know, that's you know genetics, body fat, so on and so forth. Um, but yeah, man. So um, we're about to get ready to hit this back. Thermos hit there. So for the back routine, we started off with pull-ups, not assisted, strictly pull-ups. Um, Getting that deep stretch, letting it hang. Squeezing at the top. Mind you, after doing chest to do pull-ups, you're gonna be very fatigued. So as you guys see, as I, I got as much as I could with the wide grip, and then I got back on it and hit some close grip to get out some more sets. Excuse me, to get out some more reps. Um, I did that for every single, uh, every single uh, set, okay? Start off with as wide as we could go. I do have shoulder issues, so I, I wish I could go wider than that. Unfortunately, even that width right there, I can feel my shoulders cracking. All right, so uh, you know, get to a comfortable spot. We did uh, three sets of pull-ups to warm up. Um, nothing crazy. Again, we just maxed out, especially after that chest routine. You know, we're, we're pre-exhausted, even though the chest isn't. It's still a lot of pulling movements, and pushing movements, 
a lot of blood into your into your muscles, your upper body. So you know the, the, it's gonna be a lot harder you to, you to to push those uh those um, high reps, especially when it comes to uh, pull ups directly right after. All right, uh, this is a Cybex Eagle roll machine. This shit right here is no joke. Man. Um, I love this machine. You can isolate each side of your lap. Um, or use double, as you guys can see right here. One, sing one single flow. Um, so yeah, this was the second exercise. Just getting that deep stretch. Uh, leave it at three to four sets. Again, always up in the weight. Um, just trying to get that that mind and muscle connection. Very slow, getting in that pause, um, getting in that deep stretch at the at the, and, uh, at the end of the movement. You know, you want to get that deep stretch. As you guys can see, I'm letting my lats stretch out, my arms stretch out. Then when I I power through the movement, elbows back, and try to give it that deep squeeze right there, that little pause, all right, um, really trying to emphasize on, on detail, and, and overall, um, you know, just building up a better back, all right, um, you know, that way you throw in that, throw on that motherfucking shirt, it, it hugs that back and you look nice and wide, all right, so, um, yeah, um, after this, I'm trying to think what I did, we didn't go too hard, uh, with the back, so, because we were really just um, I'm trying to emphasize on on just the lower lower lap, you know, lower back part. Okay, so the lats. Um, that's the type of uh, back uh, routines I, I focused on today on this back exercise. All right, right here we have a um, Atlantis uh, machine. This thing is no fucking joke, man. You really get to uh, get that deep stretch at the top of the movement. Now, this is good for your chest and your lats, all right? So um, this is perfect for a chest and back day. Um, if you if you over, over if, excuse me, if you ever implement, you know, chest and back on the same day and you have one of these, you want to uh, give this a go because, like I said, it gives it a, um, a deep stretch onto your pecs and your lats, all right? Um, at the end of the movement here, um, at the end of each, Set. You can see I was kind of um, just not getting it, not going all the way up. Okay, I was just uh, going to like a look to like the bottom of my pec and just going back down on some fast movements, just getting that real fucking crazy contraction onto the lats. All right, um, short range of motion, just pumping and pumping blood into the lats, as you guys see right here. The last of the movement, really emphasizing on these lower lats. Machine is a is a go to man. Give it a try, you guys. If the gym got one, give it a go. As you guys can see, man, this is the shack, man. So the really channel. They've been on the channel for since the beginning. A lot of my videos in the beginning, I I, I made a lot of videos in the in this gym. Um, you know, the roof, we got water leaks. The men's bathroom is leaking everywhere, and that's no disrespect to the gym, bro. Uh, I go there for the fucking equipment. You know, uh, the equipment is top notch. Um, this is a, a a real bodybuilder's gym right here, man. Um, they got everything you need to to put on size and muscle. And as you guys can see, man, it's it's very. I think there was probably about eight people in the gym at the time that I was in there, right? So it's very nice and dead quiet. You can get any fucking machine you want. They have numerous different types of machines in here. Um, around my way, this is the best gym there is, man. Hardcore, um, no bullshit, all right? Um, so, again, last exercise. You know, we finished it off with some lats, man. Dumbbell rows, um, progressive overload. I believe we made it to, like, 80s, something like that. Um, I don't think I went too, too heavy. Um, I might have I might have hit the hundreds. I'm not sure. But, yeah, man, um, we did just three sets to finish off the workout on this. And, yeah, man, that was my routine today. My chest and, and lats. Okay, so give it a go. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I appreciate you guys rocking with me, man. 
Again, man, I, I just, you know, busy working and grinding, paying my fucking bills. You two don't pay my bills, so, uh, you know, till it, till it can, until it does, you know, I know I got to be more consistent with it, but, you know, it's not my priority, man. YouTube has never been my priority. I never did it for the money. I did it more for, for you know, showing my knowledge and showing people that, you know, being natural, you can get jacked, all right? Um, fuck all the steroid shit, uh, you know. Try to live as long as possible. And, uh, you know, the more consistent you are with this shit, especially being natural, you have to be consistent, man, to see top-notch gains, man. As always, man, stay super free. It gets greater later.